Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to another interesting news. A Ninja Delta militant leader and former agitator Mujahid Azari Dokubo has said the bulk cases of oil theft recorded in the oil rich region are traceable to the Nigerian Army and the Nigerian Navy. Dokubo told the State House correspondent after he met with President Ashwa Jubala Metunumbu behind closed doors at the Aso Rock Villa Abuja on Friday that he pledged to fish out the elements behind the oil theft in the region. He said the military is at the center of the oil theft and we have to make this very clear to the Nigerian public and that 99% of oil theft can be traced to the Nigerian military, the army and the Nigerian navy especially. He pledged his support to the federal government to bring oil theft to zero, believing that the Ashiwajubala Metunubu led administration would fish out the culpable elements in, in the military. He said, Myself and my brothers have assured the president that, will, th- that there will be zero oil theft and vandalization in the Niger Delta. We are going to work with the NNPCL and the IOCs to make sure the oil tab is brought to zero. On security, he faulted the narrative that the military was on, under equipped to take on terrorism, banditry and militancy head-on, describing it as a blackmail. For Dokubo, the blackmail of the Nigerian state by the Nigerian military is shameful. They said they do not have enough armament am- and people listen to this false narrative. So this blackmail must end. They have enough resources to fight. Azari Dokubo, who is a major political figure of the Ijo ethnic group in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria, and he was the president of the Ijo Youth Council for a time beginning in 2001, and later founded the Niger Delta People Volunteer Force, which would become one of the most prominent armed groups operating in the Niger Delta region. The Niger Delta People's Volunteer Force is one of the largest armed groups in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria and, and is composed primarily on, of the members of the region's largest ethnic group, the Ijo people. The group, which was founded in 2004, in an attempt to gain more control over the region's vast petroleum resources, particularly in the Niger Delta. The NDPVF has frequently demanded a greater share of the oil wealth from both the state and the federal government and has occasionally supported independence for the de- Delta region. On 2005, the group was spearheaded by al Haji Mujahid Tokubo Azari, who is viewed by many Delta residents as a folk hero. The Niger Delta People Volunteer Force was organized in the late 2003 after the 2003 Nigerian presidential election by Azari Dukubo and British Columbus APD. The idea was convinced by Dukubo after he existed, existed as the president of the Ijo Youth Council. The inspiration for a militia was gotten from Isaac Boro, who is who in 1965 declared the Niger Delta Republic. The conflict in the Niger Delta first arose in early 1990s over tension between foreign oil corporation and a number of the Niger Delta majority ethnic group who feel they are being exploited, particularly the Ogoni and the Ijo. Ethnic and political unrest continued throughout the 1990s despite the return to democracy and the election of Obasanjo government in 1999. Struggle for oil wealth and environmental harm over its impact has fueled violence between ethnic groups, causing the militarization of nearly the entire region by ethnic military groups, Nigerian military and other police forces, notably the Nigerian Mobile Police. The violence has contributed to Nigeria's ongoing energy supply crisis by discouraging foreign investments in, in new power re- generation plants in the region. From 2004 on, violence also hit the oil industry with piracy and kidnapping. In 2009, a presidential amnesty program accompanied 
with support and training of S Militia proved to be a success. Thus, until 2011, victims of the crime were fearful of seeking justice for crimes committed against them because of the failure to prosecute those responsible for human rights abuses. Nigeria, after nearly four decades of oil production, had by the early 1980s become almost completely economical dependent, economically dependent on petroleum extraction, which is at that time generated 25% of its GDP. This portion has since risen to 60% as of 2008. Despite the vast wealth created by petroleum, the benefits have, have been slow to trickle down to the majority of the population, which since the 1960s have increasingly been forced to abandon their traditional agricultural practices. Annual production of both cash and food dropped significantly significantly in the later decades of the 20th century. The Niger Delta region has steadily growing population estimated at more than 30 million people in 2005 and accounts for more than 23% of Nigerian total population. The population density is also among the highest in the world with 265 people per, per square kilometer. According to Niger Delta development, the population is expanding at a rapid 3% per year and the oil capital, but our court. and other large towns are also growing quickly. Poverty and urbanization in Nigeria are growing and official corruption is considered a fact of life. The resort scenario is one in which urbanization does not bring accompanying economic growth to provide jobs. The ethnic unrest and conflict of the late 1990s coupled with a peak in the availability of small arms and other weapons led increasingly to the militarization of Niger Delta. Local, local and state officials offered financial support to the paramilitary groups they believed would attempt to enforce their own political agenda. Conflagration has been concentrated primarily in Delta and River State. The NDPDF, which was founded by Azari Dokubo, retreated into the bush to form the group with the explicit goal of actually acquire, acquiring control of the regional petroleum resources. The MP, NDPVFV attempted to control such resources primarily through oil buckering, a process in which oil pipeline is typed and the oil extracted onto a barge. That will be well for now. Do you think Azari Okubo is actually capable of fishing out those responsible for oil buckery and oil theft in Nigeria? Please let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. Bye for now.